When it comes to our hair, one thing it's always naturally been able to do with minimal effort is tangle up into what we call locks. In fact, the earliest depictions of locks date back to 1600 BC. Impressively, but unsurprisingly, locks have remained a relevant and practical hairstyle for millions of people throughout many centuries. Although the act of locking our hair and nurturing it to long lengths has always been feasible, it's no secret that we are more interested in this ancient hairstyle today than we have been for many decades. What's the cause of this recent surge of locking up specifically in America? If humans have practiced hair locking since the ancient Egyptians, why are we circling back around showing so much interest in locks today in the 2020s? Is it just a result of trends coming and going and history repeating itself, or is there a psychological reason which uncovers a complex and massive social web of shareability? Some may argue it's both, but today I'm going to explain the science behind why locks have recently gone viral in America. By applying the principles of social shareability outlined by marketing professor and author Jonah Berger, I'll point out four catalysts that have led to this heightened interest in beautifully locked crowns. This is information you won't want to miss. I have locks, you have locks, your auntie and cousin probably have locks, and no, you're not just imagining it. Google search trends show that America's interest in the search term locks has increased dramatically since 2012 and even peaked in the summer of 2021. A similar trend is seen when we look at the popularity of search terms freeform locks, wick locks, and dreadlocks. No matter the form, America is increasingly interested in locks. When ideas, products, and styles become viral, it is a result of people sharing and adopting them. Everything has its own level of contagion or how easily they are spread. Person-to-person -person exposure is the greatest catalyst for why things go viral, topping the influence of professional advertisements. With their high level of contagion, locking up has become a viral trend. But let us now explore exactly why they are so contagious and how they caught on. Emotion. Take a look at wigs, which are popular in the South and have been made even more mainstream by celebrities like Kodak Black. Their bold and thick form is eye-catching and unusual compared to what most people are used to seeing every day. The mere fact that freeform locks showcase untwisted roots and inconsistently sized congos inspires awe. Even the sight of a dreadhead like Chief Keef back in 2012 swinging his hair to drill music is enough to spark exciting emotion. Emotion is the first key to the popularity of this going trend. According to social expert Jonah Berger, emotional content often goes viral. Viral. High arousal emotions like awe and anger spark action. When you see a post of someone with very unique locks, you are more likely to feel awe and subsequently share it with a friend. The same may happen when someone comes across that same post and feels disgust towards it. Then they reshare it along with their opinion. The emotions are different, but the result is the same. Shareability increases with emotion. The number of eyes the post reaches is higher simply because people are being emotionally stimulated by the content and want to share that feeling with someone else. We are emotional creatures who like to share our emotions with those around us. And the more we share, the more something is likely to become viral. We are amazed at what our hair can do, but the sole feeling of being amazed isn't enough to take on the styles for ourselves. As humans, we naturally seek approval of our friends, family, and community. We love to appear knowledgeable and in the loop. That means we love to share and do things to prove that we have what is called social currency. Social currency makes people feel like insiders. When people have or know something that is seen as desirable or cool, they have a tendency to want to make it known to others. Sure, you may know about the benefits of freeforming and the enlightenment that can come with it, but growing freeform locks and posting content about them on the internet makes your knowledge known to the world. It's the act of freeforming that displays your social currency. Furthermore, we'll feel like we're closer to our tribe of people who share the same style. Having a nice set of locks can make you feel like you have a secret sauce. This alone can cause you to share pictures of them, advice on maintaining them, and can even make you encourage your friends to lock up too. Humans desiring kudos in the form of social currency is just one reason why locks have exploded in popularity. Stories. The story behind things is usually enough to carry that specific thing from person to person. The story that has met the ears of almost every black person in America is the story of another black person being punished or denied opportunities simply because they had natural hair like locks or braids. 
Think about the seven-year-old sent home from her private school in 2013 for not cutting off her locks, or the teenager in Texas denied a job at Six Flags in 2016 and told to come back when he didn't have locks. The story that made even more headlines was the US court ruling in 2016 that decided it was not illegal for jobs to have a no dreadlock policy in the hiring process. These events are examples of highly shared stories. Even though the themes of the stories were focused on discrimination and unfairness, the stories acted as vessels which carried locks into the forefront of the public's mind. It was by accident that the idea of locking up gained more publicity, but the stories that carried locks into fame were an integral part of their rise. Finally, and probably above all the reasons I've given for why locks have recently become so popular, is one of the most obvious reasons, and our parents have said it one time or another, and that's monkey see, monkey do. This reason doesn't need much explanation, but to sum it up, I'll say this. When something is public and easy to see, it is easily adopted by other people. If all humans covered their hair 24-7, we wouldn't have an idea of how many people started locking their hair, and the style would probably likely never become viral. Because locks are public and very visible to others, they advertise themselves. Wearing your hair in locks for everyone to see is sharing your love for locks, just like wearing a t-shirt with the Nike logo is advertising and sharing your love for Nike. Like it or not, we are very suggestible creatures who are easily influenced by each other. So with all of this in mind, what is your opinion on why locks have recently become so viral in America? And if you've started your own locking journey, I'd love to hear your reasons for why. When did you start? What influenced you? And what keeps you going every day? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, bye.